That's insane. Yes. That's a freaking fatty. Freaking go. My line like you just snapped. 21 incher. See you later. Oh, got one. See you later. Oh, shoot. That's a fish. Giant spotty. See you later. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to the video. So in today's video, we went to Marine Little Ray and we slayed the fish. This is going to be probably the most epic video I've ever made on my channel, especially with the type of predator fish that we were catching. And I want to say a really big thank you to Game Tight Fishing for sending me this sick little kit full of soft plastic minnows. Dude, they are killer. I'm not going to convince you about anything. Just watch the video and you'll get convinced yourself. These things are epic. Let me just show you guys one of the baits right over here that I use. Dude, look at just that bent out hook. We got a freaking ripped up little minnow and just dude crushed heads no eyeballs that not actually got cut off by a giant halibut so stay tuned for that literally massive can't wait to show you guys that if you guys want in depth on the gear the lures the line how i fished everything how i caught all the fish and how you guys can do it go ahead and stay tuned to the end of the video and i'll explain everything because you guys know i suck at explaining during the video so stay tuned for that if you guys want to understand anything that i did in today's video and, you, and if you guys are new here hit the subscribe button if you guys enjoy fishing it would mean a lot to me we're about to hit a thousand subscribers without further ado let's take all these goods and let's go catch some giant fish on my most epic day at marina del rey all right you guys we got this game type fishing little fluke style bait about like two and a half inches we got a little ball jig head you gave me that too thanks so much on this shimano sienna with like a legit ultralight super freaking soft rod let's we'll see if we can get bit i put a lot of smelly fish sauce so hopefully we can get bit yo no way i just hook into a freaking smell all right let's toss him back hopefully some type of barracuda eats him No. Ready? Oh shoot, that's a fish. Oh yes. I did not realize. Oh yeah, it's a spotty. Ah. Rod's too short. <laughs> yeah, it can't launch it over. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. First one of the day. Freaking solid fish it's beautiful it's a good size one yeah little fluke nice size bass at least the 12 right bud see you later got another one Yes, finally, we're getting on him. Oh no. Let's freaking go. Yes. That's a freaking fatty. Holy cow. Dang. This one's got sharp teeth. Oh my gosh. 
Holy cow, check out that giant spotty. Holy cow. That thing is massive. Game time fishing little fluke. The white color, dude, it kills. That was probably two casts later and we hook up. Dude, these hooks are sticky. Dude, it's so hard, I gotta get my pliers. Dude, these, are, these hooks are sticky. There we go. Dude, these things are killer. Thanks so much. Dude, check out that fatty. Freaking giant. Let's go and let him free. Right, bud? See you later. Got one. Got one. See that croaker? Sir, little yellowfin croaker right here. Look at that beautiful fish. Game type fishing, the red one this time. I snapped off on both whites, so now I'm using the red. Definitely works, that was the first cast with it. Sir, check him out, yellowfin croaker. All right, there it is. All right, bud, see you later. No, snap me up. All right, we got another thing tied up right over here. Another red one. Dude, we already snapped off on three of these and we already lost three fish too. Let's see if we can pull up another one. lost another one oh it's another one of these yellow fins Brokers. Finally. Dude, the previous two just broke me off. Look at that. Game type fishing. Dude, these things are killer. I don't know what's with the yellowfin croaker nowadays, but they're everywhere and they're biting real well. You ripped my swim bait off already. I mean, that little fluke. Sick, dude. Check that guy out. All right, let's go ahead and let this boy free. All right, bud, see you later. Got a halibut. Yes, sir. That's insane. Caught a freaking nice halibut. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so happy I got that on camera. Let's go ahead and first measure him. Cause this one's a freaking beast. I'll put it on top. 
18 right there dude you do not want to get chomped by these guys these guys got sharp teeth there we go dude game type fishing the bloody color the halibut like it check this freaking big boy out i believe that's my new pb right there 18 inches dude check that out check out that mouth right there let's go on and release this dinner plate right here check him out see you later there he darts right Another halibut. See if we can land this guy. Dude, today is full of halibut. Oh, shoot. Let's freaking go. Ah. Oh. My line legit just snapped. I'm not joking. All right. Dude, I just put him on the grass so I don't want him to flop around on this concrete. Dude, another giant. I don't want to get poked, but dude, right after I brought him up, he snapped my line right where my jig head is. His jig head, my jig head is all the way in his mouth. Let's go ahead and pop it out now. Oh, there it is. Game type fishing, dude. Your lures are fire, dude. They're getting crushed today. This is probably one of the best days I've ever had out fishing. And dude, it's crazy. Most bites for sure I've ever had ever out fishing. It's literally a 21 incher. We're one inch off and we would have had a legal halibut. 21. That's freaking crazy. Let's go ahead and let him free. Yeah, this is a just flat fish, you know? That's a yeah. Uh, this is one inch short. One inch short. <laughs> I know, that sucks. Damn, they have to be 22 inches. Now, I've been here for a while. I caught three of these already. And I've caught like a, like five or six of other type of species. That's, yeah, yeah. that's cool, that's nice. Well, good luck for the rest of the day. All right, thanks. All right, bud. See you later. See ya. If you guys weren't convinced by that video that these things are killer, then I don't know what will convince you guys. Go check out his Instagram down below. Go show him some love. Go pick some up. You will not regret it. I guarantee these things will literally just catch fish. Even fish you do not know existed, you will catch. And now for all the gear that I was using in today's video, I'm not trying to scam you guys in any expensive combo. I literally use the cheapest combo you've ever seen. I literally have got just super flimsy like five and a half foot roddy hunter that's like probably ten dollars dude just look at it it's full of scales it's all beat up dude this thing has been gone through some work with this super soft tip and it just makes fishing fighting a fish so much fun and this reel is a shimano sienna 1000 dude it's smooth 10, 8 to 10 pound braid. This is Power Pro. And then for the fluorocarbon, I'll link all the gear that I'm talking about, everything down below. And I'll give you guys my favorite fluorocarbon. This is just some random line I was using, but I'll, I'll put my favorite one down below. Probably the most important thing out of everything is probably scent. If you guys don't use scent, it helps you get a lot more bites. It'll make it a lot more fun. You got the Calico Cocktail. You know, everyone heard of this one. It's like kind of rubbed out, but Calico Cocktail, this thing is just that, you know, smelly scent. And then you got some, some of your dip and glow. I literally use this for like a year now. It's literally empty. A nice little poppy chartreuse. Like you can put it by the eyeballs. You can put it on the tail a little bit and it just makes the lure pop. Fish comes up to it. They won't, they won't hesitate to come and smell it, taste it. They're going to have it all and they are going to swallow it. Pick up both of these and you will not regret it. I've caught so many fish on this. All right. So this head, I believe, is the Eagle Claw Pro V Finesse. It has that weird little curve on the hook, so it kind of holds the fish a little bit better. And it has this plastic keeper, and the eyeballs are really nice. They kind of pop out a lot, but 
I'll leave everything down below. All I'm doing is just letting it sink to the bottom and either just tapping it along, making it look like a jiggle, or I'll just reel it up and just let it flutter down. So like, just like, just like, just like a little minnow just dying up and down, like trying to swim away, but it's just dying. Right when that thing just starts dying, when you reel up that slack to repop it, it's gonna be eaten already. So you don't really feel the bite. You just, you just reel up your slack again and just there because the second they see that thing dying, falling back down, they're gonna inhale it. So you guys should definitely check them out. Try this technique. I bet it would work for you guys. It worked for me. And I caught Slade some big halibut. So hopefully this helps you guys. And everything will be linked down below. And without further ado, we'll see you guys out on the next adventure. Click the subscribe button right up top. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much who already did. Hit on the right if you guys want to see the previous time. I went to Bernardo Ray. There was a spotty tournament. And hit on the left if you guys want to see me fish Venice Pier and catch some mackerel.